Hi there, your computer friend Connie here with another Excel tip for you. This one is about inserting columns or inserting rows, and it's not, not your normal insert. In fact, my example is about a budget. Uh, I have all the budget numbers in, but now it's 2020 and I wanna put in my actual. So how do I insert a column in between all my months? I didn't think of that when I was making the spreadsheet. How do I add it in now? Well, there is gonna be a quick trick to this. Normally, we would just select a column. So I would beside January, I want a blank column for the actuals. I selected that column heading there and I'd hit the insert key, but I do not want to do that 20 times, 20, 12 times, sorry. I do not want to do that 12 times. So how, what can I do instead? What we're going to do, let's undo that, is I'm going to select that first column where I want it to go, and then I'm going to control, hold the control key down and click on the column headings. Be careful not to, don't click anywhere else in your spreadsheet, just the column headings. And if I click beside all the ones where I want the months to go, carefully here. So I should have 12 selected now. And now I can go and hit the insert key on my toolbar. And voila, I have all these empty columns now, ready to put my actual numbers in. So I'm going to zoom out so you can see this. So look at that blank columns beside everything. So that was clicking on the first one, control clicking on all the other ones puts empty columns between everything that you have selected. So I hope you enjoy that tip. Try it on your own spreadsheet. Have fun with that. Remember, it'll do it up for columns. It'll also do it for rows. And if you're interested in learning more about Excel and you have a team of people that use Excel every day, please reach out to me, give me a call. I've got a little link below there I'd like you to click on and we can set up a quick Excel strategy call for you. Thanks for your time and have fun with Excel. Bye-bye.